Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, it's been a while since I've been on here. I just thought that I would come on here and just give my little two cents worth, if it's even worth that much. Um, I, I don't like getting involved in drama, but man, I, I <laughs> it's, it's really sad to see that this whole gender war thing is still going on. Like, I don't get caught up in all the drama, so I don't know, but, you know, there's, I've been hearing about this list that went around. I saw a little bit of it just um, on someone's page. Um, it, and who, the people that started it, you know, I, I only know of one of them. Uh, she, to me, should be put on her own list because she's not too encouraging to black men, you know, in my opinion. And I'm sure all of those that, pe that see this um, video will know who I'm talking about. Um, but even in regards to that list, I will say this. I understand why the list was made. A lot of black women feel as if, you know, they're becoming the, 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 the bash ease like all the time, no matter what. And, and it's a shame because like, it seems like that happens to black women more than any women. You know, it's just not fair. I don't think that um, it was done to be malicious. I think that this list was put together, you know, out of basically a response to how they've been feeling, you know. I feel that, how can I say this? I feel that, you know, whatever we blame people for as far as like, you know, like, okay, I'll give you an example. A lot, of, I've been hearing that a lot of, you know, black women are being blamed for all the babies that they have. And it's like, okay, well, who had a part in that? Obviously, they couldn't have the babies by themselves. It, you know, uh, uh, we as black men have something to do with that. You know, it takes two to tango on, on stuff like that. And my softening the blow um, to black men, no, because I think it's wrong for anyone to say that, you know, black men ain't nothing. Because, I mean, it, it's sad to even have anyone say that. You know, the sad part also is that, you know, this is going on when we have, you know, people out there calling for our own genocide. So are we gonna encourage that? Now those people, there should be a list for that in my opinion. All these pages that advocate for black genocide. I mean, there's a bunch of them on here on YouTube. And it's, it's not cool, dude. You know, like, shoot. You know, all these white supremacists are lying about us and just, you know, they have their whole plan in our extinction. They want us basically dead. And then we're going on, you know, like, like jabbing at each other. You know, what's up with that? You know? So I think the best thing to do is, is that we could both listen to each other and see where, we're, where we are coming from. Because if we don't listen to each other in a reasonable conversation, hopefully we can do that. You know, we are sensible people, but to get back, if we don't listen to each other, this whole gender thing is, I mean, it, it's not any step to empowerment. It's not any step to even autonomy, you know, and it's a, it's a diss to our, you know, conglomerate as well as, as just being different people within a diaspora, in the diaspora. And I mean, also you know, not just culturally, but sexually, you know, um, men and women are different and, and our black men and women experiences differ. You know, we both have, you know, the same experience that we've come from and that we're, you know, we face as a culture, but at the same time, being different genders, it's different on both sides. We don't understand each other on both sides. I'm not saying that we can't, but we don't. 
and and that's the thing that needs to be talked about we we really have to get to that yeah i, I mean everyone has their strong opinions or whatever so i'm just kind of expressing minds right now like i said i'm i'm no authority on anything but at the same time you know I, i'm speaking from my heart because i care about this you know if if we don't if we can't talk to each other then it's just good to just work on ourselves you know instead of airing all this vitriol and garbage out against each other you know shoot you know you got Colin Flat or whatever the hell his name is you know basically egging people on to you know for the extinction of black people as well as you know black the black pigeon and all these other crazy white supremacist sites and you know people like Jared Taylor and and you know Matthew Heimbach and all these evil people that are that are all about promoting black genocide we don't have time to be bashing each other at all we need to seriously come together you know and I'm not saying that we have to come together to fight them I'm saying we have to come together to just deal with what we need to deal with as a people on our own on our own stuff man you know um we have a lot of healing to do but we also have a lot of work to do while healing our ancestors you know they paved the way for us now it's up to us to take the torch and bear that torch you know and not burn each other with that torch but to be a light to each other in this chaotic place that we're in so hey you know what peace to you guys i want the best for for all of us peace